doing a new reading for you today, Aries. This is called Don't Wonder Anymore, Aries. That's right. We're going to get some answers for you, Aries. Sun, moon, and rising in Aries. Sun, moon, and rising in Aries. This is perfect. This reading is perfect for those of you that need a situation clarified. Perhaps you're getting mixed signals. You don't really know what's going on. Well, worry no more, Aries. We're going to get some answers for you, some clarifications. Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Aries, sun, moon, and rising. The first card is going to represent what this person is telling you. What are they telling you, Aries? What have they already told you? Or what are they telling you right now? Let's see. For those of you that are my subscribers, you know I like shuffling my cards for a little while. That is because as I'm shuffling, I'm picking up impressions, thoughts, feelings. I'm a highly sensitive empath. I'm also a psychic medium. So let's see, two more times and we're going to get started, Aries. By the way guys, I am taking 24 hour readings again. I had stopped for about a month because I was overbooked. I also have special, I have a few little messages for you, announcements. I have specialty readings up on my website. I have a life purpose report, a twin flame report, and I also have mediumship readings now for those of you that are interested. And uh, finally, please follow me on Instagram for those of you that uh, would like to do that. I do weekly pick a card readings. So that link is down below, both for my website and uh, my Instagram. So that's it, that's all. Did I miss anything? No, I did not, that's it. Now let's start with your reading, Aries. Let's shuffle one more time. What I'm sensing already is impatience. <laughs> and it's almost like I go to the future and I'm and I am picking up the energy that uh, you you guys are going to be exuding. So yes, there's a very strong need for you guys to be patient this month of September, not to jump to any conclusions is what I'm hearing. So this is what they're telling you. Let's see Aries. We have the stranger of tides. There could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces of significance. And guys, I am beginning to stutter a little bit. And that is because I'm connecting with someone very strongly. So the Stranger of Tides. There could be a water sign of significance. Or what this person is telling you is that they have feelings that they have emotions that they want to explore let's see but what i'm getting from the stranger of tides which is the knight of cups is that this person could be very inconsistent very unreliable there are times where their emotions peak and they're very expressive very touchy-feely with you and then just like that a minute later they are withdrawn very cold We have the Queen of Fire. This is you, Aries, strongly feel. There could also be another fire sign of significance, but the visual that I got is a bonfire, right? And then I see, I saw a, wa a water bucket being thrown on the water. So again, kind of like what I was just saying, like hot and cold, hot and cold, right? Where one day, you know, they're very hot for you, passionate, very expressive. And then the next, they're just cold and uh, that fire is left just sizzling there, right? It's evaporated. Let's see. So what they're telling you is that, well, they have feelings for you. What do you see? What are you seeing? This is what you perceive about the situation, about this person. This is what you think is going on. The Ace of Fire. The Ace of Fire is 
someone that is very excited, someone that is very expressive, someone that is very passionate and that wants to start something new. So you see them as wanting an opportunity, Ace of Fire. Seven of Gardens. The Seven of Gardens represents patience. <laughs> and what did I say earlier? You see this person, how they're kind of just like, they look bored. Seven of Gardens. The Seven of Gardens is someone that has to trust that whatever they have invested in is going to give back. So you see them as being all fired up, excited, but waiting, however that resonates. How, what are they really thinking? What's up there in their thoughts? What are they thinking about this? We have the five of winds. So the five of winds is this is a tricky card, the Five of Winds. It's a lower energy, so it represents someone that is operating on a lower frequency. This manifests as a person that is operating on their ego, so they could be very defensive, untrusting, unreliable. There could be this back and forth this inconsistency is what I'm hearing. Let's see, let's clarify this Five of Winds. We have the King of Tides. The King of Tides, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces of Significance. So the King of Tides has control over his emotions, his, her emotions. So much so that they are able to completely block all emotion. So let's see. I feel like this person could be coming off as... So this is what they're thinking. So this is what they're thinking about this. Let's see. I feel like they don't really trust. We have the three of tides. For some of you, there could be a third person involved here. It specifically could be a water sign. The three of tides represents reunion. So this person, if you're separated from this person, they could be wanting to see you, but they're not doing anything about it. Or the way that they're going about things in September is going to be very shady. Highly questionable behavior with the five of wands. This is what they're thinking. For some of you, what I'm strongly getting is that they could be in communication with someone else. Could be a water sign for some of you. And that is why we have this five of wands here, which could represent lies, betrayal, someone that doesn't have your best interest. Let's get one more card to clarify. We have the Queen of Winds. Air, this is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So what I'm getting from this, this is what they're thinking. So they have a lot going on in their thoughts. The Queen of Winds is a very intelligent person. They see all sides of the story. It's very difficult to trick them. The Queen of Winds. She also knows exactly what to say to you to get what she, he wants. So let's see how the reading continues. This is how they really feel. This is how they feel. Ace of Tides. So they feel love. They care. Ace of Tides represents new love. Let's clarify the Ace of Tides. Strongly feel that for some of you, there is another person involved here. 
that could be influencing their behavior and the way things unfold. And for many of you, this is going to manifest in different ways. And I don't want to go too deeply into what this could be because uh, then I'm going to be losing some of you. But just know that the underlying energy is the same. Just apply it to your situation. We have the war card. This is you. This is Aries. So they have feelings for you. I also feel that uh, they're very sure about what they're feeling. Where is this headed? We have the chariot. The chariot is movement. This is overcoming difficult times. So whatever is going on, has been going on, Aries, do know that these things are going to be resolved. They're going to be conquered. These difficulties are going to be left behind and there's going to be a movement, things happening. The chariot, the chariot also represents a victory. What they're telling you, for some of you, they could be telling you that there's you and there is someone else, specifically a water sign or someone that they are emotionally connected to. What you see is someone that really desires to be with you, Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands, but that is not making a move that, that you have to wait for. Let's see, the chariot, things are headed forward. The Eight of Winds. So the Eight of Winds is someone that is feeling restricted, someone that feels trapped. Here we see someone that is in a cell, looks like a prisoner. So where, where this is headed is someone finally realizing that this Eight of Winds is all an illusion. They're not really stuck. They're just stuck in their head, right? And they're going to realize that in the, this realization is going to bring movement forward with the chariot. There could be a cancer of significance. Let's see. Let's get one more card for you. We have the hair font. The hair font represents Taurus and it also represents commitment relationships. So I feel like this is going to be headed that way. But first, this person has to come to a realization that whatever it is that is holding them back is not really holding them back. Strongly feel that this is someone else. So let's get an oracle card for you. A message for you, Aries. Let's get a message for you from this oracle deck, Aries. Sun, moon, and rising in Aries. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Love makes the difference. Let's pull another one for you. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Strongly feel, right, that somebody finally has to come to terms with that. And uh, like this card says, the situation that you're going through right now is helping someone finally see where their true happiness lies. And they have to go through this experience in order to gain that uh, clarity, that knowledge. Love makes all the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security. 
So I feel like there could be someone that is feeling insecure at this moment. Perhaps they are afraid of taking a leap of faith. They are, they are afraid to love because they've been hurt a lot. And this is what is preventing them from moving forward. So this is what I have for you. Aries, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. It was my honor and my pleasure. You guys take care. Bye-bye.